Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Caitlin. I make videos about wife life, motherhood, and lifestyle. But today we're talking about my new puppy, Waverly. He's almost, he's a little over three months old. We've had him for almost a month. And I just saw because we're new puppy owners, we've learned some helpful tips, um, products maybe that you should have that people aren't out there telling you all the time. It's not like the obvious um, things like food bowls and leashes and things like that. Um, there's definitely a few things that we've learned um, in this past month that we would love to share with you guys. So if you are getting a puppy soon or you just got a puppy or maybe you just love puppy, puppy content, um, please hit that subscribe button because I have more coming and I have more on my page. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video and it's helpful at all to you, please give it a big thumbs up and let's get started okay so the first thing i'm actually gonna start with is this baby gate i don't know if they're really called baby gates but that's what i've always called them i have children so usually when you have a gate like this it's to keep the children separated from certain rooms and keep them safe however it has worked wonders for our little guy waverly here because we have actually just kept him on this main floor so as you can tell in our dining area, we just have um, the wood floors and then also into our kitchen as well. Especially during these times when we're potty training, first few weeks, first few months, um, we like to keep him where it's easy to clean up and just keep him separated where um, this is like his area to roam and that's all he really needs right now him down here on the main floor is also very helpful for when you are trying to protect him I guess from getting little items in your house like I have children they've got small toys if they're going in, if he's going into the bedrooms he'll find clothes socks all kinds of things and when you keep them um, more contained into just a few few rooms rather than the whole house it is a lot easier to keep track of what he is getting a hold of and what he can and cannot get a hold of um, to be honest we have not had any problems because we're very good about knowing what's on our floors and what's at his reach um, whereas if we just let him roam the whole house it would be definitely nerve-wracking wondering like where he's at at all times also again with the carpet in the you know younger stages um he's more likely to have accidents on carpet which is going to be harder to clean obviously than on the wood a couple of things with the gate that we purchased we did get it at target but i know you can get them so many places i'm sure amazon walmart i mean you can get them pretty much anywhere but i will say that they can get kind of expensive um, but one main thing that i was very specific about when getting a gate is that it is easy for you to just click open like this rather than having to walk over it every single time because again he's eating his tennis ball because again we have children we have five people in our house we are constantly going back and forth um to our bedrooms to the bathroom upstairs um just I mean constantly in and out and I know that a gate can't work for everyone in everyone's homes everyone's homes are set up differently but if you have an area kind of like I described where you can block off um, where he can be in a safe safer area um, then I highly recommend getting that baby gate to set that barrier between um, your you know your privacy your things keeping him safe and keeping him on the other side that I highly recommend which I did actually put in my puppy haul um, like I mentioned um, I was I did see this highly recommended and I just wasn't sure if it was gonna work for our puppy for our family um, but I will tell you that I would say 85% of the time it definitely works and that is the bells that you hang by your door where you're gonna let your dog out to use the bathroom so especially when you're potty training um, you know you want to hit either hit their paw on the bell or I usually would just shake the bells and say outside so he knows that when you hear the bells that means he's going outside and then we're going outside to use the bathroom to go potty um, 
Now we have a little fenced in area for him, which makes it easy for us to just open up our sliding glass door and let him out. If you don't have that luxury, I understand letting him out all the time and having to go out with him is gonna be a little bit more challenging. Um, but that's another thing that I would recommend if you could fence in a little area of your yard. That's not really on my list, but definitely would recommend that because it's been um, a game changer for us as far as just when you get a puppy is a lot of work. It takes so much energy, time. Um, you have to be very, very consistent. Um, and I do agree with the bells, you know, hitting the bells every time, being consistent. And eventually, um, I definitely think that your puppy will catch on and it has been very successful for us. These are the bells that we have. We just got them, I believe at PetSmart and they just hang. And if you shake them, they ring. Um, but they just hang, we hang them on our little sliding glass door. Again, we just open up our door and then he has this little fenced in area um, so we can just let him out. But again, they hang on your door. I have seen people put like maybe like hooks or something on the side of their wall and you can hang on there as well if that's something you're interested in. Um, I know it can get annoying hearing the bells all the time, but I would much rather hear the bells. See, I would much rather hear the bells um, and let him out than to have an accident or, you know, so. Um, highly recommend, I really like these ones. They do the job. So I think they were $10 at PetSmart. Okay, good job. So the next thing that I recommend are dog wipes, which are pretty self-explanatory. Um, however, I didn't really see the huge importance of them before we actually had Waverly until we brought him home and there were days where it would rain and he would be dirty and you know muddy and I would just stop him at the door. I would wipe him down with a wipe or two and honestly, the mud and dirt would wipe right off and then if i wanted to add a little extra i would dry him down with a towel but um i definitely recommend these wipes if you're not wanting him to track mud or dirt all over your house it's kind of up to you but i definitely recommend getting the dog wipes um this brand is earth rated i'm pretty sure i got them at target but i know you can get them all different kinds of places all the stores um, and yeah, I just would recommend, you know, one that's safe for him, obviously, and for his fur and skin and everything. So definitely recommend dog wipes if you want to take that extra step of keeping your house as clean as you possibly can, even with the new puppy. Okay, so the next thing that is on my little list is not really super important. Oh, hi. You want to join? You want to join the video? Do you want to tell him all about the things that mommy uses to help take care of you and make my life easier? You want to tell him? <laughs> okay, sit down, buddy. Okay, back to our next item, which I keep in the kitchen. It is a food storage container for your dog's food. Um, obviously, it's not super important. It's not a big necessity, but um, in my opinion, it looks good for aesthetic purposes but also does keep your dog's food um, more fresh. So um, we got ours at Home Goods, and we store it under this little table nook here. Just thought it was cute, simple, um, has this little dog bone at the top. Um, again, I got it at Home Goods, and they have like so many different styles. They have bigger ones, which I do believe we probably should upgrade to a bigger one here soon. Um, they have smaller ones, so if you have a small dog and you're not storing as much food at one time. Um, but we really like it. I like how it looks. It kind of blends in with my kitchen rather than having a big bag of dog food just sitting out. Um, I just think it looks a little bit better. And again, it keeps your dog's food more fresh rather than um, you know your bag being wide open or, or whatnot. But I was gonna fill it for you. I just realize I need to fill anyways, so this is We did use some food out of this bag um, before putting in here. Otherwise, it fits pretty nicely. And then I can just snap the lid on like that and then put it back where it belongs 
And Waverly knows what's in here. And it's his lunchtime, so I should feed him, huh? Are you want me? Last and final thing that I would highly recommend for getting for your puppy, and I will say this is a very common thing and you probably already have it on your list or you already have it at home, um, but I just feel like it's that important and has worked so well for us and helped us so much these this first month, um, and that is a crate or a kennel, whichever you wanna call it. Um, we use his crate or kennel for many different reasons. We do uh, kennel train him, so he sleeps in his kennel all through the night. Um, and then we also use it, let's say if we need to run to the grocery store for an hour, um, he goes in his kennel because he's just not old enough to stay out, you know, in the house by himself for that long of a period of time. Um, it's not that we don't necessarily trust him, but you just never know what they could get into. Um, when you're gone for that long of a time not there to watch over them and it's really just for their safety to keep them in their kennel while you're gone so you know that they're safe um, that really is what their their crate or their kennel is is like their little safe zone um, they feel comfortable there they might not always want to go in there because they want to stay out and be with everybody else but at the end of the day it is their safe spot and you wanna make that their little home for them. But here's his kennel. We do keep it in our main living room area. Um, we can, I actually really like the spot that we have it located right now because like I said, this is his kennel and this is my bedroom. I can peek my head out a lot of times without him, him even seeing me and I can check on him. I can see if he's doing okay, if he's sleeping, if he needs out, if he's looking like he's thirsty. Um, and I just feel like it's just like a nice little corner for him to be tucked away. I've heard you don't really want them to be out like in your kitchen area where there's just like a lot of traffic going around. Um, this little corner is just like a safe little, um, pretty chill area and also, like I mentioned, he sleeps through the night in his crate. He has done that literally since the night we brought him home. We got so lucky, but I will say because we have his crate in the living room, we did um, put videos on the TV for him. So like soothing videos on YouTube is usually what we do, soothing videos for dogs. And I'm sure he's not really watching the TV, but he can hear the sounds. And I really think that that also helped him sleep through the night. Stay, stay, okay. Good boy. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed those five tips that I gave you when getting a new puppy. Hopefully these are helpful. I know it can be a little, you know, overwhelming, sometimes even stressful, and you just wanna enjoy your puppy. I hope that these five tips that aren't so obvious um, really help you out. If they do, please give this video a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe to my channel if you are into puppy content. I also love to do lifestyle videos, um, some vlogs with me and my family. Um, if you need any more tips on being a new puppy owner, anything else that I've learned, um, I would love to help you out in the comments as much as I can. Again, I'm a new puppy owner, so I don't know everything. Um, and every puppy is different. Everybody has a different schedule, different lifestyle, different dog. So one last thing I did want to mention, um, if you're interested, I got my shirt at Target. Um, super cute and <laughs> thought it was fitting for this video. So um, another thing, if you guys would love to see all the cute puppy photos that I'm um blasting all over instagram please follow me on instagram i'll post my handle right here for you guys um check out my other videos that i posted recently about bringing our puppy home our whole journey to getting him also the puppy haul that i did of all of the items that we got before the puppy so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one bye